Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm out of breath to the channel. This is part three of my colouring books that I haven't coloured in videos. And this is all Colouring Heavens. So Colouring Heavens actually have four different magazines. Yeah, they do. They have their Colouring Heaven Junior books, or as they call it, Quick and Easy Colouring now. Um, they have their uh, subscription one, which is the Colouring Heaven Specials. Then they have another set of ones that aren't subscriptions that are called Colour in Heaven Collection. And then on top of that, they have their Mindful Mandalas. Now, out of all these, the only ones I haven't bought the book version of is Mindful Mandalas because they do those digitally. I have bought a few of the digital ones and I haven't coloured in them. So I won't be showing you those. If you do want to see my PDF ones, let me know and I will show you, but beware that most of them are Ava Brown anyway. And I can't guarantee which ones I've coloured and I haven't because uh, I put all the pages back into the book. So let's start with Colour in Heaven Junior. So the first one I've got is the Unicorn Tea Party. Um, was this issue one? Yeah, this was the very first issue. And they are cute little unicorns and fairies and things. Um, what was that by? Does it say? Oh, Selena Fennec. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous little book. Then the next one I haven't coloured in is Cute Baby Animals. This is Lika Lendl, and these are really gorgeous. Paper is not quite as good as in the uh, main books, but it's still not bad paper for what it is. There's only four of these. I've had a few and I've coloured in some of them. Flower Sprites. This one's really cute. This one is by Mitzi Sato Weif. And these are gorgeous, just like little flower fairies. And I think they're absolutely adorable. Nice and easy to color. So why haven't you? Because you've got too many books, Andrea, that's why. And the last one I got last year for Christmas, but never colored in it, which is the quick and easy color in Christmas. Um, so this year I'm definitely doing, because look how simple they are. They are so cute. Who are these by? Um, Vera May, oh, Lemon Shortbread, I love her stuff. Oh yeah, I love hers. She did a Halloween one in one of the colour and have ones, I absolutely adored it, so yeah. See, I know nothing about the books I've got, but yeah. So there's that one. Now we are going to move on to the Colour in Heaven collections, which are the ones that aren't available on subscription. You have to purchase these individually. I always just purchase the ones I want. I don't get them all, so I have nowhere near got all of them. Not a huge stack of these. Most of the ones I haven't colored in are the subscription ones. So we have Shaun the Sheep. I had to get Shaun the Sheep. I mean, it's simple. These are white sheep. You can just colour it in like a creamy colour. You've got some of the pigs. And it's just cute and I had to have it. Then we've got uh, Flower Girls. And they are really beautiful by various artists. That's gorgeous, that one. That one. Then I have Pets Rock. So more fun than fame. Now I got this because of the one picture at the back, which is the Marilyn one, which I will show you. Um, which is this <laughs> Marilyn kitty cat, which is great. I love it. I haven't coloured it yet. I will colour it, but it's called Diamonds. And then we've got the Elvis one. We've got Shakespeare. I just, I think they're cute. There's the Dolly Parton cat. I just, I think they are. Oh, I think they're just lovely. Yeah, and the, oh, oh sad. But um, yeah, so that's that one I've got there. Then I've got the Ancient Egypt one because I do love everything Ancient Egypt. But again, I'm scared of colouring it in case I ruin it. 
But then Egyptian style of art and when they colour their art was very stylized anyway so you c it doesn't really matter. Look at that. That is stunning. Oh, love it. And then we have got Santa's workshop. Christmas one. I just, I just sometimes I just don't get to colour. Look at that. I love that one. To colour in them when I want to. I got so many Christmas books. I'm trying not to buy Christmas books this year because I've just got far too many. Um, I've got a few I haven't coloured in. You saw those in the first episode. And there's the few uh, Colour in Heaven ones potentially that I haven't got. Um, I don't know why I don't keep those in the Halloween's Colour in Heaven in the page. I will put this now in to go for the Christmas one because it's come in along with the other one as well. I'll clear me a bit of space on my Colour in Heaven shelf as well. Celtic Mandalas. Again, I love mandalas and I love anything Celtic. Why haven't I coloured in this? <laughs> Greens, golds, reds, silvers. Oh, it's gel pen mania, this book. I've got this one, which is tattoos, which of course is from mostly Hanlin, but Dina Stone as well. And there are six new and exclusive ones in here. So this is a Dina Stone one. And these are all, uh, that's a Hanlin, a new Hanlin. And I haven't done them um, because I I don't know why. I'm not big on colouring in um, people with tattoos. Colouring in these tattoo designs by Dina Stone is fine because I, I just find it so detailed to colour in all those little bits on their arms. That's a nice one. But yeah, so that's that one. And the last one is the Wizard of Oz one, the Wonderful Wizard of Oz book by Fabiana Truer. That's the last one I've got of the Cohen Heaven collection. Now, the next one in a big pile, and I haven't counted them, are all the subscription issues. So this is the Cohen Heaven specials that I've had a subscription to for the last few years, which is why I've got so many. I get so many colouring books, and one of these every four weeks, I just don't get to colour in them all. Um, there was a time when I was trying to colour in them as they came out. That's not working so much these days. So the first one I've got is The Secret World of Animals by um, Kanuku Agusa. Now, as much as I like these, and believe me, I do, I still don't like colouring in animals. But it came as a subscription, although I did quite like that cat. Some detailed, some not doing the rabbits. They're very cute, actually. Oh, the stamp's nice. So, there's that one. Then we've got the Wonderful World of well, the World of Princesses special. Um, I like that one. So again, I'm always afraid of colouring anything that is not... That could be... So, for instance, that isn't pale Caucasian. I'll be honest. I always worry that I'm going to make a dark skin look awful or a Chinese skin look bad and I don't want to offend everyone so that anyone so it puts me off doing them so I really need to get over that and and just go for it oh that one's so cute that's that one then we've got Woodland Fantasy Special by Adele Loren these ones are a nice bit too in-depth in some places, too detailed, a bit intimidating. That's quite nice though. That's nice. I mean, look at that. I would never colour that. I might try it one day, but at the moment it's not something I'm looking at uh, trying to do. And we've got the Sorcerers and Sorceresses Special. Jennifer had a go at colouring on this one. I don't, I don't colour the cover, so it doesn't bother me if she does. Um, these are lovely, who they buy. Neliki Showmaker, but again, I'm scared. In oh, that one's that one's just David Bowie in Labyrinth, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, then the Mermaid Special. This is Anastasia Eli Kuldareva. Very, very, very detailed. I do love this book though, and I have got some ideas of how I want to colour it as well but it's quite scary 
that's that one. Then we have the Jashley A Colourful Adventure Storybook Special. This one I'm going to have to pick a set of pencils. So I'm colouring it with those, say the Black Widows, because they're a very big set. And I'm going to colour like that and then note what I'm colouring, for instance, the main character skin and her clothes and stuff so that it'll look the same because it does tell a story and I would like to keep it like that. I was going to do that with um, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly but because I think it's so fantastical you can get away with changing that one up. And then we've got Fantasy Figures special. This is just Maud Lemoyne. Don't know why I haven't coloured in here. These are stunning pictures. Oh that's cute. As you can see, it's just, it's all getting, oh, I actually like that. It's just getting away from me, that's all. The colour books are getting away from me, so I'm stopping buying so I can uh, get through some of them. So there we go, we've got uh, the Unicorn Special. So Heather R. Hitchman, Selena Fennec and White Stag. Now, I actually love these ones. Like... That flight stag is so cute. And I'm not a big white stag fan, but I do like the unicorns. And then we've got these ones by Selena Fennec, who I adore. Oh, look at that one, that's so cute. There's that one. Oh, I've still got the flap of paper that came with it. Um, then we've got Ink House Storybook Special. So this is... Rory Dobner's Ink House, the Cone Heaven version. I don't know about this one. It's just not my sort of thing. But I love the pictures. It's nice to have them just as the artwork, although I do like that one. I think it's quite detailed and very grayscale. I do like them, I just don't know if I could colour them. But it is nice having them just as the artwork as well. Neko Girls Special, <sighs> Dina Stone, Anime Cat Girls. They're not too bad. I just, in fact, they're very sweet and cute. I just haven't got around to it. And I don't know what, I don't know why. It's, I think it's just the volume of having so many books and so many uncolored books that it's just something I can't really cope with so I'm literally relying on you to tell me what books are colouring out of this lot for a bit. Gods and Goddesses special. Pretty. Who's this by? Oh it's Jashley again yeah. We get a lot of Jashley which is good because I like his art. That one's stunning. Dionysus. Kronos. So that's that one. We've got Wildwood Witches, a special by Steve Hutton. I do like, again, I like all these books, but there's just too much. I mean, this one I could put in the Halloween stuff because it's mostly witches, but I'm not going to. Doesn't mean to say I'm not going to colour it though, because I will. Then we've got the Starry Night special, which is Weeshen Ong. And I like this, but look how tiny they are on the page. It doesn't take up the whole page and I find that quite intimidating because they're very, very detailed. There are a few full-size pages and I think they're the exclusive ones. Like, like, yeah, like that one. It's still very detailed but at least you've, it's a bigger space so it's bigger. And then next we've got the Elements Special. This one is Anne Stokes. Now I've got one of her books so her, yeah, we haven't seen that one yet. It's around somewhere. There's that one. We're not finished. <laughs> I told you I've got far too many Colour in Heaven books. Uh, Wingling Special. Again, this is by Jasmine Becky Griffiths. I love this, but just haven't coloured in it. Every now and again I pick one up and I think, oh, I want to colour in that. And I look through it and I think, no, nothing's really grabbing me. Maybe because Winglins is, is dragons. I'm not big on dragons that much. I do like them, don't get me wrong. But I've got to be in the mood. Next one is Christmas Gnomes. So I'll put this in my Christmas pile. Um, this was last year's, I think, yeah. Um, 
I like that gnome. They're Ava Brown. I recognise that because uh, I know Ava Brown's style. Mario Lubedeck. I, li I like her Christmas ones actually. I like that one. I love that. Yeah. So we'll put that to one side to go into a Christmas pile. Then we've got Fantasy Creatures Special. Again, this is Selena Fennec. You'd think I'd have colours in this by now because I love her her stuff. Again, very detailed, but I like that, the Hydra. I'm going to do his heads all different colours, like one pink, one purple, one red, one blue, one green, something like that. Different colours. But yeah, <laughs> that's cute. Little Sphinx. Yep. Then we've got Manga Fantasy by Sonia Leon. And one of the things I never got into is manga. Don't blame people for reading it. The, the illustrations are absolutely gorgeous. It's just not me. But these pictures are beautiful. Nope. Yes, we're still going. Gothic Beauties Special, which is various. Five top colouring artists, so I'm not going to go through them, but... Yeah, Sarah Richter, who I absolutely love, Sarah Richter. She's one of my favourites. Again, I love too many of them. That's nice. Again, just haven't coloured in it. Don't know why. That's that one. Uh, Enchanted Animals by Kanuku Ugus. I can't even pronounce the name. Again, it's got this bit stuck into it. But stuck like that, shouldn't they? Take that out. So this was Celebration 100 issues. So this is issue 100. And these were apparently new and exclusive designs. But again, animals. I like that one though. That's nice. You're going to pick all animal ones for me to do, aren't you? Because you know I'm not that keen on animals. I can see it coming. What's this one? This is ma another mangas. Manga fairies. But I do like manga fairies. These are stunning. I like that one. In fact, I can picture colour in that one. So. Oh, that's beautiful. I like this book. Why have I not coloured it? Ah. There we go. And then we've got Fantasy Kingdom Special. This is Chris Ortega. Nice. Look at these. This is my kind of thing. I love this sort of stuff. I haven't coloured it, but it's my sort of stuff. I love it. Yeah, this is my sort of stuff. Now I'm feeling a bit sad that he's cancelled my subscription, but like I said, I will pick them up in the supermarket as and when I see one I fancy. And then next one is oh, Garden Gnomes, which is obviously Ava Brown. I've got a lot of Ava Brown gnomes anyway. Um, I might give it to Jennifer. I might not. <laughs> Last pile now, there's only about three left. The last three are Grim Fairy Tales uh, by Naliki Shoemaker again. And I do like this, but look, these are so good, these illustrations. Look at that. Cinderella. Snow White. Absolutely amazing. Stunning. Stunning pictures in that one. Uh, Mythical Hybrids. So this is weird. Um, human animal, mostly like um, human reindeer, raven, piranha, orca, leopard, goldfish, and so on. And that's by Josh Lane, of course. Last one, of course, is the current one, which is the Colour in Heaven Halloween special. We've done a flip through of this, so have a good look. That's the last one. So those are all the Colour in Heaven books I haven't actually coloured in as of yet. If there's any of them that you would like to see me colour in, leave it in the comments below. I will add it to a list and we will crack on. So I said I got a lot of books, didn't I? I don't know how many of these, I haven't counted them. Have you counted them? If you have counted them uh, from all three videos, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.